Now, the subtopic within theoretical and practical issues of L2 writing is issues and methods in L2 writing. We will focus on these issues from theoretical lens. So, it's important to understand that from 1960s to 1980s, researchers saw much similarities between L1 and L2 composition, and this is what is called contrastive rhetoric. We will discuss what is contrastive rhetoric and why its knowledge is important for language learners and how its knowledge can help language teachers to teach uh, writing efficiently and effectively. So there was a sort of trend of seeing it uh, L1, L2 as a replication of L1, like the, the issues faced by uh, L2 learners could be the similar issues faced by in their L1. So first language composition um, had its influence on, uh, on second language composition. So, and there was a time when much research was carried out to understand if successful, how successful second language learners, uh, you know, are influenced by their first language. So it was seen that those students who are successful, who are efficient in first language, they are much more likely to do well in their second, all in their second language. Although this debate, this concept, is not outdated. We can find its relevance still here, and we can apply this concept to so many uh, effective second language writers who are doing well in their uh, first language. So these debates much focused on like how skills developed in first language transfer to that of the second language. By skills, I mean writing an effective introduction, organizing the essay, writing the middle parts, how to write the conclusion uh, in a um, convincing manner. So some of the strands, some of the facets of writing actually. So these skills apart from this would include planning and how to answer the question and how to organize different ideas and put them into a coherent whole then how to revise the text in the light of the feedback given by their teachers so what was the style of the writers what was their tone actually what what was their voice actually what were their intentions so these elements were if they were developed in first language they would they are reflected in second language as well. So some of the studies concluded that first language and second language are comparable, are transferable. The habits developed in first language are transferable to the habits of second language writing. So on the other hand, um, inefficient or less experienced or early beginner beginning writers of first language may much more they, they might be obsessed with the grammar they might want their teachers to point out their inaccuracies in grammar and they they are much more obsessed with lexical and mechanical accuracy as compared to the audience, the style, the voice, the tone, the purpose, the overall organization, the overall cohesion and coherence. So the knowledge of L1 transfer on L2 composition is important for language teachers. Why? Because this may benefit them uh, in terms of reshaping their instruction, in, in terms of in terms of understanding the errors or the frequencies of errors or categories of errors made by the students. So the knowledge of issues and methods in L2 writing 
is important for language teachers in terms of reshaping their uh, uh, pedagogy, in terms of helping them uh, teach writing in an effective manner.